Checking signal. St huh. According to the data captured by the drone, Eamon's most recent destination was a naturally formed cave. It doesn't seem to have any tactical value. That being said, there's a high number of Volga's troops going in and out of the cave. Construction materials and heavy equipment. There's a lot of high-tech equipment being brought in, too. They wouldn't be there without a reason. We need to initiate a search operation now. Could you handle the cave? I'll seal off the entrance to stop the enemy getting reinforcements. Or retreating. Zachary will cover us from enemy snipers with a scout rifle. We don't have much time. Let's move. Descendants, there's a few important things to keep in mind for this operation. And I have a personal favor to ask of you as well. Recon squad reporting. When you get near to the cave, be on guard for the commander level Volgus who is stationed there. He's a cyborg Volgus called Keldir. He's part of a specialized sniper unit that uses anti-matter ammunition. I managed to damage his visual sensors last time I engaged him. But he can still use his auxiliary sensors and sound functions to launch deadly attacks. Fighting him could be a challenge, even for a descendant. And as for my personal request, well, if you do run into Keldir, I'd like to be the one to finish him. I lost a lot of good men to that piece of crap, Volgus. If I'm not the one to take him out, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. Zachary, emotional soldiers are no use in a war. Are you telling me not to avenge my men? No. If you're gonna do it, just make sure you're smart about it. We'll give you all the support you need, so don't be a hero about it. Whether it's the head or the heart of that Volgus. We'll get you what you need. Understood. It is as Lord Eamon said. The descendants have arrived. Initiating extermination protocol. Destroy all traces of excavation. Activate the defense To the entity who slays the descendant, Lord Eamon will bestow a new body prosthetic and independent persona. Excavation? They really are hiding something. The Volga signal from inside the cave was also very strong. Guide, can you identify anything of significance? I am unable to detect any traces of the Iron Heart or Void Energy. However, I am picking up a very familiar face pulse. Uh, definitely. Descendant, please look on the opposite side of the cave. Jaber confirmed there is heavy equipment and high-tech facilities there. The answers will be there. Initiate section containment. Activate high-energy laser defense. The Descendant has entered the kill zone. Block all access roads. Initiate attack in a siege formation. Claim the kill. Execute the Descendant. Be rewarded, you body prosthesis and persona. Partition control function into rows. If you destroy all the controllers, the partition can be manually controlled from this side. Destroy all of them. Partition has been lifted. The laser traps are on a separate circuit. We can't control it from here, so we need your skills.
to receive to the terminal. I'll try to control the decommissioned passageway remotely. There's a phase shift gate in here. I'm pretty sure the gate you mentioned was installed in one of the Hagios Prime hands were this. It's the only way to enter the ruins, but it's been sealed ever since it was first discovered. And this isn't the ruins. So what is it, really? We should be able to find out soon. The wavelengths become stronger the deeper we go. So it really wasn't just a cave. But how the hell did Eamon figure this out? Eamon has been well versed in the details and capabilities of such facilities for a long time. However, there is no time to spend on that. We must find out what information Eamon was able to obtain here. Be careful of the Vulgus reinforcements as well. They've started to come through the cave entrance. severe, it seems they abandoned their excavation of it. I detect phase wavelengths erupting from the damaged parts. The first surge was much stronger than the one we had just now. That's why there was a jamming signal 
generated across Hagios. We can use this when attacking. It might come in handy when we face Corel's fleet. <sighs> it isn't. Descendant, what's the status of the Hagios operation? We haven't received any comms. We were getting worried. What did you say? The recon squad's communication was sent 48 hours ago? That doesn't make any sense. How have the Vulgus developed advanced tech warfare capabilities? Run the details by me again, please? All right, so Eamon was excavating a phase shift gate in the hidden ruins, and he discovered that the damaged device emitted quantum waves which acted as jamming signals. Hmm, I see. I understand that he would have taken advantage of such an opportunity. It seems luck is not on our side. If we'd received this report sooner, we could have acted on the information. But at least we have some useful intel, even if it didn't reach us at the right time. If we can find the excavated phase shift gate, we'll still be able to achieve our goal. I'm more concerned with the operation at the White Knight Gulch. It's taking longer to detach the Ironheart than we expected. At this rate, it may not be completed by the time Corel's fleet arrives. We've already had reports of Vulgus forces appearing near to the Gulch. We're running out of time. I wish there was some way that we could turn things around. We'll just have to do the best we can on both fronts for now. Please continue with the operation. Wait, are, are, are comms back up? Is this Jay versus Eve signal? Blair, why are you in the Hagios? I, it is you, turret boy. It's nice to hear your voice. Have you eaten? Uh, what, what would happen to me? <laughs> well, it's a long story. There was the, the Volgus forward base and, and these weird cargo trucks. I ran into all sorts of things. While all that was happening, comms were down, and the guide was nowhere to be seen. There were a lot of enemies, and, and that weird beam of light phenomenon. Everything was nuts! Uh, the gist. Give me the gist. Vulgus space, cargo trucks. Actually, just send your current location. I should hear this in person. <laughs> that sounds good to me. I'll send you the coordinates. You send me updates on what's been going on at your end. Have you eaten? Damn. Jaber sent me the sit rep. Things have really hit the fan. Oh, you, you asked why I was here. I, I heard the scouts were having a difficult time of it, so I snuck in to make them a warm meal. A kind of surprise event. <laughs> but the real surprise was prepared by Corel. <laughs> God damn it! He seems, he seems like someone with no table manners. <laughs> uh, so, no change there. Anyway, the, uh... <clears throat> The Volgus passed through this way not long ago with a convoy of cargo trucks loaded up with a ton of stuff. When I tracked the convoy with the scouts, we found some kind of Volgus forward base. It, it, it looked like it had been built in a hurry, but the security was no joke. What's worse, there was a commander-level Volgus. With heavy armor and high-powered weapons, he chased us, the bastard, and when we called for backup, there was no response. We ended up fighting for several days while being totally surrounded when suddenly a beam of light appeared from somewhere near the ruins. Maybe that fat ass commander was also distracted by the beam of light because he stopped attacking and we were able to retreat, just. By the time we managed to regroup, the only ones of us left were Dominic here and me. Had I known what would happen, I, I, I would have brought my friends more than just a meal. It was, it was your last supper in the end. Which is why, if you're going to that Volgus forward base now, you need to let Dominic and me tag along. They flipped the table in front of the chef, and it's time to teach them some real table manners. Also, if you want to prevent them from getting the Ironheart, you're gonna need more people. 
Dominic will show you the way to the forward base. Let's head there and turn up the heat. Uh, why do more and more people keep getting involved? Recon squad, reporting. Nice to meet you. My name's Dominic. I'm a scout accompanying Blair. In order to get to the Volga's forward base, you have to secure this area first, as it's our main route. There's also a number of important additional tasks to do. Blair's already familiar with this terrain. I'll fill him in on the mission separately. You'll need to follow the instructions given by the recon squad. Or what's left of it, anyway, as Zachary and I are the only ones who survived. Anyway, good luck. Oh, by the way, I heard from Zachary. His troops were hit pretty hard, but I heard you took the enemy to task and helped Zachary get his own back. Thanks for that. And Blair, your meal was also very tasty. I feel like I always owe you descendants something. When this battle is over, I'll buy you a drink in Albion on behalf of my entire team, I promise. Dominic, that's what you call a death flag right there. Soldiers are superstitious, you know that. Okay then, I'll bake you a pie or something after the war is over. Not even you can top my mother's recipe. <laughs> Keep it up, you joker. Them's fighting words right there. Just ignore the hairball, Dominic. Descendant, collect the data from the recon drones. We'll use it to pinpoint the enemy's location. If that data isn't collected quickly, it will be lost. You have to hurry. Confirming data transfer. I'll analyze the enemy's position and relay it to all operating personnel.
should be able to see where the enemy is blocking entry. Your target is the surprise that are in The supplies are Kuiper ore secured by the enemy. You need to quickly destroy all Kuiper who have already been exposed to Volga's energy. Like that.